Welcome to the e Patsala lecture series for computer science. In this, we are going to discuss about the paper cryptography and network security. We will continue with the second lecture on the cryptography and network security. The last session where I have introduced about what are the terms, crypto, what is the importance of cryptography and how we are going to apply the cryptography in the case of attacks which is happening in your environment. In this, we will continue with the classical cryptography. So, what are the things we are going to learn in this particular episode is to understand the classical cryptography, to understand the terminology related with the cryptography and what is script analysis and uh, in the classical cryptography, we are going to discuss about one component in substitutional cipher and also we are going to discuss about one example related with mono alphabet substitutional cipher. The keywords symmetric cryptography, crypt analysis, substitute cipher, CSA cipher. The last session where we had about CIA, CIA confidentiality, integrity and availability and also two other things we have discussed about authenticity as well as we have discussed about non-repudiation. So, as a in a secure environment, this is a model of network security, in the secure environment where we have sender and recipient, where sender want to send a message to the recipient, it is going to be sent over a, if you take without the security, it is going to be sent over normal unsecured channel. When there is an unsecured channel, you can imagine every data is going to be captured and also it is going to be under the threats. So, how I am going to ensure that? So, we have to ensure confidentiality. Here we did the secret information, something the message is going to be plain text. Suppose if you take I am going to purchase a product over an internet as I am going to purchase a laptop. If I am going to purchase a laptop, if you think this is going to be a seller like uh, some Amazon or Flipkart, where I am going to send my message, I want to purchase a product, where I book the product. Later on, I want to pay for the particular product. During the payment, I want to provide my banking information. When I am providing a banking information, it is very, very important that we have to ensure whether we are using a secure channel because your data can be captured by unauthorized user. The best thing we can able to observe whenever you are purchasing a particular product over an internet where you can able to see that in the URL there will be HTTPS. What is that HTTPS? What is that HTTP? If you are aware of networking model, in that application where we have a HTTP is one of the protocol which is providing web service. When I am sending HTTP where everything is going to be sent as a plain text, instead of that I want to go for an HTTPS where it is going to send as an encrypted data. So, always make sure that whenever you are using a website for e-transaction or related with banking activity or any sensitive data, ensure that whether your URL have a HTTPS or simply we can able to see the log simple over your URL. So, now we come to the point where we have a message, I want to access banking data, I am providing debit card or credit card information or internet banking information. Everything is going to be encrypted in this particular part itself. Then this message is going to be transmitted over a secure message over the secure channel, right? You can able to see that secure channel and after that he will be getting that before going to get the particular information for ensuring the secure transaction there will be a trusted third party like a payment gateway. A payment gateway will ensure that whatever the transaction I am going to do everything is going to be done through the third party. Otherwise, he may deny. Later on, he may say that I did not received any banking record or I did not received any amount from the user. In that case, the third party will answer. In that case, it is very important to have a third party which is addressing your non-reputation. So, now we can able to see that here we are going to send the message as a confidential because it is going to be encrypted. Another one is Nobody can able to steal your information because it is going to be sent through a channel which is secured. Again, it is going to be providing an integrity and also there is a trusted third party which is providing a non-reputation. So, this is the model where you can able to say that whatever I am going to do over this particular model, everything is going to be secure unless, unless there is no vulnerability in my system. If there is a vulnerability, definitely it is going to affect your entire system. So, we have to ensure that the security system and with a proper setting as well as configuration. So, before going to discuss about uh, classical cryptography, here we have to discuss about 
some of the terms related with cryptography then only we can able to understand what is the meaning of cipher text what is the meaning of cipher what do you mean by cryptanalysis what is mean by uh, crypt text all these things we have to know what is encryption what is uh, decryption so now we'll take plain text normally a message what you are going to send it to a person cipher text a code and message something which you are going to encrypt it cipher what is cipher cipher is an algorithm used to transform plain text to cipher text so cipher text where i say how you got the plain text from uh, cipher text from the plain text because we are using a algorithm that algorithm it is using a key what is a key which is going to share between the sender and the receiver who know that key can able to decrypt the message nobody else can able to get the particular information so the two important thing of your security is the algorithm what you are going to use another one is the key what is the strength of the key we are going to choose in such a way that it is very difficult for an attacker or a particular uh, intruder to gain the particular control of your system so cipher and key are the most important thing for designing your system n cipher is a process of converting your plain text into a cipher text d cipher as a reverse process of your n cipher so where i going to take my cipher text and converting back to my plain text cryptography you already know it is a study of encryption principle or method another new term here we have an crypt analysis what is crypt analysis whether he is a good person or bad person that the things are different but here is in addition to that we have some additional terminology related with cryptography one is we have cryptography already we have discussed is the study of encryption process or a method very important thing is crypt analysis what is crypt analysis it's nothing but a study of principle or method for deciphering the cipher text without knowing the key so now we can able to understand what is crypt analyst crypt analyst is a person who do crypt analysis what is the idea behind this is i want to know what is the strength of my algorithm how much thing it can attacker if they try to break my algorithm how much strength it is going to have without knowing the key that is what crypt analysis crypt analysis means he will be a good person where he is going to suggest you with the help of what is the strength of your algorithm how can i improve my algorithm in that good sense where you can take it where without knowing the key he try to break into your system and you will say what is the weakness of your system crypt analyst as a person who do a crypt analysis called crypt analyst cryptography cryptography cryptology cryptology a uh, field of both cryptography and crypt analysis so it is going to be combining of studying of cryptography and crypt analysis we call that as a cryptology so before going to start with the classical cryptography so we need to know something which is familiar with the cryptography is symmetric cipher model symmetric cipher model what is symmetric cipher model symmetric means single just have a same symmetric means same not single same same means suppose there are two user if they want to share a secret information they will be sharing one common key both the user going to have a same key for both the encryption and decryption we know what is encryption what is decryption encryption means converting your plain text into a cipher text decryption means cipher text to plain text what you need for that process it's you need a key the key is going to be common between the two users who want to share the secret information then such a cryptographic model we call that is a symmetric cipher model so as what this diagram where you can able to see that the secret key shared between sender and recipient here also we can able to see that sender and recipient so both are using the same key an example of this algorithm it is given here is des this is one of the symmetric cryptography algorithm is a data encryption standard we are going to discuss about that in coming lectures at present we want to know what is a symmetric cipher model then only you can able to understand classical so in that case here we can able to say that user is sending a plain text using an encryption algorithm but what do you need here you need a key this key must be available with the receiver also both the end you should have the key then it is going to be transmitted to the cipher text the secret key shared between sender and receiver where again he do the in reverse process of that particular algorithm what he is doing is using the same key he is going for decrypting the content once it is going to be decrypted it will be available for the particular receiver so what is the main thing here both need to be agreeing with the key before sending their data 
and also they should agree with the algorithm which algorithm they are going to use it based on that only you can able to send the particular message so what is required as what i mentioned in the symmetric encryption oh, two important things are considered one is strong encryption algorithm another one is secret key so as already we know crypt analyst what is the role of crypt analyst he will be analyzing your system what he will analyze he will look for an vulnerability of your system what he will do generally without having or knowing the key he try to break into your system or breaking your code so now we can able to see that when i am choosing a stronger algorithm for my encryption technique even the crypt analyst am unable to break the particular system then i can say that my system is surely secured in that case as what we can able to see that strong encryption algorithm and also what you need secret key knowing only to the sender and the receiver not only crypt analyst even some attacker also try to capture your data without knowing the key he try to do all kind of things to get the particular information so our idea is to make a secure use of symmetric key encryption we have to choose a strong encryption algorithm as well as we have to go for highly secret key between the sender and the receiver so generally we can represent an encryption with the help of some mathematical representation or mathematical notation as what we can say where y is a plain text is equal to e is nothing but an encryption algorithm y is a cipher text because x where you are encrypting right so already we know what is an encryption process encryption process is converting your plain text into a cipher text so i am taking x as a plain text and applying the encryption algorithm with the help of the key you can able to see that both the key are going to be the same k both the sender and the receiver so now the receiver want to receive the particular message he know why what is why he know what is d he know what is k so when he applying that decryption using the k over a y he will get the x so now we can represent the this process is called encryption where it is represented by y is equal to ek of x and decryption is the process where you can represent by x is equal to dk of y so where y is your cipher text x is your plain text so they both need to be agreeing of that particular algorithm in the cryptography where you can able to have various cryptographic system as what we can able to see the type of encryption op operation used what are the encryption operation generally we come out with symmetric cipher we have substitution transposition and product when you have an symmetric cryptography symmetric cryptography what i told you it is a symmetric key which is going to be exchanged between both the sender and the receiver only one key is going to be shared and they will choose a particular algorithm this algorithm may consist of substitution transposition product it can be either a substitution or a combination of substitution or it can be combination of your product and the number of key used where we may have some kind of single key in the case of your symmetric key or asymmetric key there is another one kind of an security where you have asymmetric key cryptography in that we have two different keys not the same key so we have two category of cryptography as asymmetric key another one is symmetric key asymmetric key where we can discuss in later on in this particular lecture series now we know about the symmetric key we can assume that the number of key is depends upon which technique we are using cryptography technique we are using so as what we can able to see that single key cryptography or we can have two key cryptography or say asymmetric key cryptography way in which the plain text is processed whether i am going to take entire block of data or i am going to take one by one that is what it is given as block or stream cipher i'll take suppose i am going to encrypt a web page content i want to encrypt a web page content for example i want to encrypt a, a voice data where i am cannot go for a bulk of voice data over a streaming of voice over a telephone conversation i want to encrypt it i will take stream of data i will take one by one i will do an encryption suppose i am going to send a web page content i will take a block of information i will take a, or a one the size of 1024 bits or i go for a 10 character i'll do for an encryption then i'll send it that and again decryption again block process so the characteristics of cryptographic system depends upon 
what type of encryption operation we are going to choose for an encryption for strengthening your cryptographic algorithm and how many keys you are going to use for both an encryption and decryption and also we need to know how we are going to process our plain text whether I am going to take as a bulk block or I am going to take it as a stream. So, crypt analysis where we already know what is crypt analysis? Crypt analysis means code breaking, code breaking means I want to know the plain text of a cipher text without having the key. So, that is the intention of most of the person without knowing the key he want to know what is there in the encrypted content. So, here we can able to see that there are general approaches one is crypt analytic attacks another one is brute force attack. So, crypt analytic attack without knowing the key he want to know what is the content in that and brute force he will randomly he will go for searching for a particular data. Crypt analytic attack where cipher text only attack or known plain text or chosen plain text. So, what is cipher text only? Suppose imagine the same scenario where Alice want to send a message to Bob or Bob want to send a message to Alice. There is a man in the middle between Alice and Bob. Suppose he want to steal the information where he gain only the cipher text of the particular information. Then we can say it is cipher text only attack. That means knowing only knowing the algorithm and cipher text. So, what is the idea here? He does not have a knowledge about what is the key that is going to be shared between Bob and the Alice. He want to know, he already know they are using decryption algorithm or encryption algorithm, DES algorithm. If you imagine they are using a DES algorithm, then I do, because every algorithm technique will be known to anyone who want to send an encryption data or decryption data, the technique is publicly available. What method they are using that is publicly available, but the key is the only strength of a particular secured environment. That is the case here we can say only knowing known algorithm and cipher text is statistical known and can identify the plain text. Next method is known plain text. Known plain text means knowing or suspect the plain text and cipher text. They will get some component of their cipher text uh, and the corresponding plain text. So, what will happen? Either they can map the cipher text and plain text randomly they can do some kind of analysis they can able to get back the plain text. For example, I am sending 100 characters in that 100 characters every 100 characters converted into a cipher text, but in that 100 character I am going to take one character where already he know about that character is mapped with this particular plain text then easily he can able to analyze what are the other characters going to be done. Chosen plain text where it is going to select a plain text and obtaining the cipher text. I choose a plain text based on that I will be obtaining the cipher text and using that combination I can able to get back that particular. Choose and cipher text selecting a cipher text and obtaining the plain text, choose and text selecting the plain text or cipher text to encrypt or decrypt the particular content. So, as we consider cryptanalyst either I can have only cipher text only who knows who does not have any idea about key. He know only about the what method that means what algorithm they are using and also he gain some crypt, uh, crypt text. Known plain text they suspect some plain text is already have they have the cipher text they can able to map it. Choose and plain text they go for selecting the plain text and based on that they obtain the cipher text. So, among this method the crypt analyst will do and based on that they can gain the plain text without the knowledge of the key. The another method under the crypt analysis is we have a brute force search. Generally we do in the case of brute force search right. Suppose if you forget your password for your Gmail or any particular email account then what we will do? We will keep on remembering of some history of password which you usually have in your mind we try to go for all the kind of randomness, but the key thing is it is probability of getting back the particular password is very easy in the case of already we are using some kind of storage in our mind. But the case of attacker he does not have any knowledge he simply go for finding random search of a particular key and you try to gain the control of the particular system. As what we can say always possible to simply try every key 
he know the method but he will start with ok suppose I am having uh, 5 characters you will start with all the randomness and he started to capturing the particular control most basic attack proportional to key size. So, it is very important thing is that is why nowadays we can able to see that whenever you are going to set a password they will give all the combination that is also very important in the case of a password management. If you go for creating a new account on a particular email very important thing is they will say there should be having one capital letter there should be having one small letter and also some combination of your characters and some special characters some uh, numbers all these combination why they are saying is because if you are going to use your password as simple plain text for example if I am going to give a name like uh, uh, if I am saying here it is going to be brute within few seconds any particular system can able to get back the particular password because the thing is they go for first substituting a to z second they will go substituting a to z third they go for substituting a to z like that if they know this is going to be a simple password within a fraction of second with a kind of a system you can able to get back the password. Assuming either no or recognizing the plain text that is known or recognized plain text somebody most of the people they keep their date of birth as a pin number for the bank ATM card or some case they will go for having their birth date in the password or vehicle number. So, it is very evil easy for a people who are very close to the particular person they can easily able to attack their system. So, what is the importance of key size as what from this table where you can able to understand how much time it takes for breaking into the system if I am going to choose a key of certain sizes. For example, suppose here you can able to see that key sizes in bits you know what is bits right binary digit either 0 or 1 and also we have number of alternative keys. Suppose if we take for example, this column will explain you time required to 1 decryption per microsecond, time required to 10 to power decryption per microsecond, it is a capacity or capability of your system, they are considering two different system, if they are having 1 decryption per microsecond or 10 power 6 decryption per microsecond. So, in this case suppose if I take first, if I am going to choose a key of 32 bit size. So, how many alternatives we have 4.3 into 10 to power 9 where you can able to see that a computer or a particular system who capability to execute one encryption per microsecond within 35 minutes it can able to break your or able to get your key. Similarly, if I have a high power computer of 10 to power 6 decryption per microsecond where I can able to break within 2 millisecond. Imagine nowadays we have more than this the system nowadays what for an end user it is more than what the capability of what is given in the particular table. So, within a fraction of second they can able to break into. So, we can able to see that 32 bit C key size is not that much secure. Similarly, we can compare all the other key size for example, 128 bit how much here it takes if I have 10 to power 6 decryption it will take around 5.9 into 10 to power 30 years to break the particular system. One of the uh, known very popular algorithm of your symmetry cryptography is this which is using 64 bit key that means it is used only 56 of your key bit and it is more popular till 1980s nobody they know the weakness but still they think that it is going to be supporting the various kind of an attack but they know here you can able to imagine if i am using a des algorithm of key size of 56 bits within 10 hours with the capability of your system within 10 hours you can able to break your system. So, the key size is going to be very much important and uh, most of the classical cryptography the last row where it is explaining about 26 characters 26 characters because after this we are going to start with the classical cryptography in the classical cryptography you are going to discuss about only the alphabets later on only we are going to discuss about the modern cryptography as we are taught in the case of your bits. So, as you are using a classical cryptography most of the classical crypto system they use alphabets of English. So, there will be 26 characters. So, in that case if you see the particular row 26 characters we can see that permutation 26 equal to 4 into 10 to power 6. So, 6.4 into 10 to power 12 years to break the particular system and 6 point when they go for brute force attack. So, brute force attack with a 26 
characters if they go for the combination permutation where it takes around 6.4 into 10 to the power 6 years to break the particular system. Now, we are going to start with the classical cryptography that is first thing we are going to discuss about substitution cipher. What is classical cryptography? It is going to be using a substitution cipher. Substitution cipher means substituting one character by another character that is it is given here the letter of plain text are replaced by another letter or by the number or by the symbol. The plain text is used as a sequence of bits then substitution involved replacing the text plain text bit pattern with the cipher text bit pattern. So, only they are substituting they are not doing any kind of mathematical things just they are going to take one character and they are going to replace it as what we discuss in the case of your cryptographic algorithm we have substitution transposition and product. So, in that case first we are going to in the classical cryptography we are going to discuss about substitution cipher. So, one of the known and more popular cryptographic classical cryptographic technique is Caesar cipher which is known by the Caesar cipher and is given by Julius Caesar in the 60 to 50 BC in the case 60 to 50 BC where they use this for encryption of military affairs as what we can see that this was more popular till 16th century as one of the known cryptographic technique in the classical cryptography. He what he employed here is he replaced each letter by third letter. For an example if you take meet me after the talk party where you can able to see that always we, we say that here he will be replacing that m by p e by h that means this plus 3 m plus 3 they consider each and every alphabet character as 0 to 25 then they will be adding plus 3 and shifting that you can say that it is going to be your substitution cipher. Why you are saying it is a substitution cipher because the single character is going to be substituted by another character. Can we define the transformers how it is going to be happening here uh, we will say that a is going to be suppose in Caesar cipher as I said it is going to be taking 3 a plus 3 d b plus 3 e c plus 3 f if I consider is going to be 1. So, mathematically gives each letter a number a b c d as what is going to be represent by 0 to 25. So, how I am going to represent here c is a cipher already we know right cipher c is a cipher text e is an encryption p is a plain text. So, how it is going to be done mathematically is p plus k mod 26. What is mod 26 is a modular operator whatever I do with the mod it is going to give me only the remainder. Suppose I take for example, b uh, b is 1 I am I'm going to add 3 b plus 3 is mod 26 3 mod 26 is again 3 what is the 3 it is going to be giving the d. So, like that I am going to sorry uh, 1 plus 3 4 I will get the e. Similarly, when the receiver you want to receive the message you take cipher that is your d subtracting by e 3 that means d is 4 cipher text is d minus 3 it will give me 1 mod 26 of 1 is 1 I will get back the b. So, in that manner the Caesar cipher is using the substitution cipher this is the mathematical representation of Caesar cipher, but it is going to be may, though you say it is going to be securely transmitting of data uh, till 16th century, but in the 1000th AD where a person it is very easy to break the algorithm without knowing the key that is what we say as script analysis. So, he does not know about the key, but uh, doing some kind of analysis what we call that is the cryptographic attack as a brute force search where you can able to get back the particular message. So, given a cipher text just try all the shift of key do need to recognize when the plain text is going to break. For example, for example, I want to break this particular plain text I will be simply do all the combination I will be plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 like that I will be keep on searching and I uh, will be analyzing one by one and I will fi find the all possible. So, I will start from g then I will go for h then I will go for a uh, z like that and finally, at one point of time I can able to get. So, how many times I have to do only 26 times 
26 times I sim simply replacing this by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 immediately I can get back the plain text. So, mono alphabetic cipher rather than just shifting the alphabets it could shuffle the letter arbitrarily. So, hence there is going to be only 26 character long. So, easily you can able to break the system if I go for 26 possible combination. So, for example, here you can able to see that here you can get that if we wish to re, uh, replace letters it is going to be encrypted in the case of mono alphabet only I am going to change one character in Julius Caesar where he employed three characters three plus three uh, shifting three in mono cipher you can use any number of shifting here you can able to see that D shifting like that. So, now we have what are the combination to 26 or it is going to be permutation to 4 into 1026 key. So, it is very difficult, but still it is easily can be break in the case of problem with the language characteristics. So, that where we are going to discuss in the case of your crypto analysis. So, with this where we come to a summary of this uh, conclusion of this system uh, say that outlines the cryptography term where we discuss about the cryptographic classic cryptography and also we know what are the crypt analysis either you can say crypt analysis or we can say uh, uh, we have a brute force how I am going to do that we know what is substitution cipher we know mono alphabetic cipher and also we have discussed about the Caesar cipher in that case how a crypt analysis can able to get the gain of or getting the plain text without knowing the key. With this we, uh, we conclude the session with the classical cryptography. In the next session we are going to discuss some of the classical techniques and also we are going to discuss about the crypt analysis related with the technique and we will be concluding this session. Thank you.